The Otago Therapeutic Pool could close as early as December and trust members are looking for answers. The operating cost issue is around $100,000 per annum and that's where we've got to focus first. So the issue is uh, do we attempt to discuss that with the board to reduce or eliminate those costs or do we find an alternative? Those alternatives could come from increasing admission fees and patronage numbers as well as looking for funding elsewhere. But Martin says there is no easy fix. Charging people more, raising the number of admissions may go some way towards that but it's not going to solve a $100,000 problem. The pool was built after the Second World War and was used by servicemen for rehabilitation before being open to the public 40 years ago and it has since become classified under Heritage New Zealand. It was about 20 years ago that I realised that this pool was almost certainly the first purpose-built therapeutic pool in the country, if not in the Southern Hemisphere. The pool has up to 40,000 admissions each year and physio Mark Shirley spends three days a week using the pool to help people with serious injuries. We spend over 12 hours a week down here working with people with a range of disabilities. People have had strains and sprains right through to people that have had traumatic brain injuries, spinal cord injuries um, and complex orthopaedic injuries. One of those cases is former forestry worker Corey Jones who was diagnosed as a quadriplegic after rolling his truck and breaking four vertebrae in his neck. He has been using the facility for the past three years and says it's vital to his recovery. It helps a lot from my recovery, it helps with pain. Um, I've got sublate shoulders and that, that helps the pain a lot. And it's the only time during the week where I can actually relax, my body actually relaxes. Shirley says there are no comparable facilities in Dunedin and the city needs it. All parties say discussions between the health board, the trust and the public need to take place to find a solution. But for now, rehabilitation is on the line for many of these users as they hope for the status quo to remain. John McKenzie, 39 Dunedin News.